ಜಿಲ್ಲೆಯ ಎಲ್ಲ ಪಿ ಸಿ ಎಂ ಬಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳೇ ಜಿಲ್ಲಾ ಪಂಚಾಯಿತಿ ಉಡುಪಿಯವರು ಆಯೋಜಿಸಿರತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಈ ಸಿ ಇ ಟಿ ಕೋಚಿಂಗ್ ತರಬೇತಿಯ ಈ ದಿನದ ಈ ಸೆಷನ್ನು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಬಯೋಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನನ್ನು ಈಗ ನಾನು ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೀಚ್ ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಲರ್ನ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಮೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಯುವರ್ ಸಿ ಇ ಟಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಓಕೆ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ದಿ ಬಯೋಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ what are the different types of applications that we have from this or dna technology or related to that that we will study okay now biotechnology finds various application in different fields for example biotechnology is used in agriculture in agriculture we use the genetically modified plants Uh, for disease resistant pest resistant to produce high yield like that similarly we use in medicine biotechnology finds its application in medicine in the medicinal field we have diagnostics therapeutics are the two areas we mainly use biotechnology therapeutics diagnostics like that okay and also uh, in future we may have a gene therapy also then food technology food processing okay that is another promising area of biotechnology where it finds its application then environment biotechnology here we use the uh, genetically modified creatures like uh, bugs super bugs to clean the oil spills and also to produce plants which are energy yielding energetically important plants that can be produced so environmental biotechnology agriculture medicine food technology these are the main areas of uh, where, where we use the biotechnology and its applications okay now the first and foremost areas in which biotechnology we use is agriculture when it comes to agriculture you know already we have agro based agriculture organic agriculture and genetically modified organisms to use in agriculture okay we have tripled the food production during the green revolution due to because of better improvement of uh, the uh, irrigation facilities better yield due to improved varieties use of improved varieties and also mainly due to the use of pesticides and the herbicides and fertilizers we largely used during the green revolution that make the food production almost went up shoot up to uh, three times muru pattu hechina ahara utpadana nu now green revolution naga at that time alli during 1962 2000 now maadiddu now kaltidivi alwa hindina chapters allu kaltidivi adakke kaarana nu now kaltidivi okay adre now eshte food anna produce maadidru kuda even two times three times produce maadidru kuda human growing population idiyala adakke feed maadu astu food anna now produce maadak aagta illa and also there are problems associated with this uh, the agro based agriculture you know okay extensive use of pesticides uh, herbicides and fertilizers lead into pollution and they become toxic to the environment and one day our soil would completely become barren okay sterile agi hogbo anta chance irutte adanna avoid maadkondu namge yavudaru third option idiyo annodanna nododadre biotechnology has its promising okay biotechnology inda now increased food production hage biotechnology inda now we can produce pest resistant plants we can produce plants which show various levels of stresses like drought uh, flood okay salinity like that main aim was to create plants which can tolerate uh, various stresses abiotic stresses and also to reduce the post harvest loss okay harvest aad mele hechina food grains na pest indano in yavdo roopadalli adu namge sigodilla adanna naavu ulisukolu hage we can have to we can create uh, the biotechnological products that is a uh, foods so that is the aim okay so by considering all this biotechnology has promising area with regard to agriculture okay 
ಒಂದು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂ ಟೂ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ಗೆ ಬಂದ ಹಾಗೆ ಎರಡು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸನ್ನು ನಾವು ನೋಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಹೌ ಟು ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಎ ಪೆಸ್ಟ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಬೈ ಇನ್ಕಾರ್ಪೊರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಎ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಜೀನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಸಿಲಸ್ ತುರಿಂಜಿಯಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಒಂದು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಲು ವಿ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಬಿ ಟಿ ಕಾಟನ್ ಓಕೆ ವಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ಬಿ ಟಿ ಕಾಟನ್ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕಲಿ ಮಾಡಿಫೈಡ್ ಕಾಟನ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಬೈ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಸಿಲಸ್ ತುರಿಂಜಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಜೀನ್ ದಟ್ ಶೋ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪೆಸ್ಟ್ ಒಂದು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಲು ಹಾಗೆ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಅದರ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಎ ನೋವೆಲ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಶೋ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅನದರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಯು ನೋ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಇಂಟರ್ಫೆರೆನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಮೆಲಡೋ ಗೈನೆ ಇನ್ಕಗ್ನೀಷಿಯಾ ಎ ನೆಮಟೋಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟೊಬ್ಯಾಕೋ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ದಟ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಮಾಡಿಫೈಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಟೊಬ್ಯಾಕೋ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಈ ಬಿ ಟಿ ಕಾಟನ್ನು ಹೇಗೆ ನಾವು ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಒಂದು ಅದರ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ನಮಗೆ ಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಬಿ ಟಿ ಕಾಟನ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಕ್ರೈ ಜೀನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಸಿಲಸ್ ತುರಿಂಜಿಯನ್ಸಿಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕ್ರೈ ಜೀನ್ ಇಸ್ ಐಸೋಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ಕಾರ್ಪೊರೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಿ ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಮಿಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಗ್ರೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಂ ಇನ್ ಟ್ಯೂಮಿಫೇಷಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಅಗ್ರೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಂ ಟ್ಯೂಮಿಫೇಷಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಟೈನಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ರೈ ಜೀನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಟು ಎಂಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಿ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಟನ್ ನಾವು ದಟ್ ಕಾಟನ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕಲಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ಡ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕಲಿ ಮಾಡಿಫೈಡ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಶೋಸ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬಾಲ್ವರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಪೆಸ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ದೀಸ್ ಕ್ರೈ ಜೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕ್ರೈ ಜೀನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಕ್ರೈ ಜೀನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಸ್ ಕ್ರೈ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕ್ರೈ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ಸ್ ಲೆಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೋಟಾಕ್ಸಿನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಬ್ಯಾಸಿಲಸ್ ತುರಿಂಜಿಯನ್ಸಿಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೋಟಾಕ್ಸಿನ್ ಬಟ್ ವೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಟಾಕ್ಸಿನ್ ಎಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಿ ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಟ್ ಗಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಆಲ್ಕಲೈನ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಕನ್ ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಟ್ ಗಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಟಾಕ್ಸಿನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಟಾಕ್ಸಿನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆ ಅಂಡರ್ಗೋ ಸೊಲೆಬಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಎ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ಸ್ ಪೋರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಎಪಿಥೀಲಿಯಲ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಮಿಡ್ಗಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಗೋ ಲೈಸಿಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಿ ಟಿ ಕಾಟನ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ವಿತ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಒನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಸಿ ವಿತ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಟಿ ಕಾಟನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಟಿ ಕಾಟನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಬಿ ಟಿ ಕಾಟನ್ ಈಸ್ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕಲಿ ಮಾಡಿಫೈಡ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಬಿ ಟಿ ಕಾಟನ್ ಈಸ್ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕಲಿ ಮಾಡಿಫೈಡ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಬಿ ಟಿ ಕಾಟನ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಲೆಪಿಡೋಪ್ಟರನ್ಸ್ ಕೋಲಿಯೋಪ್ಟರನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಪ್ಟರನ್ಸ್ ಬಿ ಟಿ ಟಾಕ್ಸಿನ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿ ಟಿ ಕಾಟನ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಂ ಬ್ಯಾಸಿಲಸ್ ತುರಿಂಜಿಯನ್ಸಿಸ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಟಿಸೈಡಲ್ ಪ್ರೋಟಾಕ್ಸಿನ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಟಾಕ್ಸಿಕ್ ಇನ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಗಟ್ ಸೊ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಈಸ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಟಿಸೈಡಲ್ ಪ್ರೋಟಾಕ್ಸಿನ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟಾಕ್ಸಿಕ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಟ್ ಗಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹಾರ್ಮ್ ಟು ದಿ ಹ್
ऑप्शन थ्री नेक्स्ट सी दि क्राइ जी प्रोड्यूस क्राइ प्रोटी एंड दीज क्राइ जी आर् मेनी टाइप आर् देर एंड दीज मेनी टाइप आफ क्राइ जी आर् क्राइ वन ए सी क्राइ वन ए बी सो दट इज देर इन दि कॉलम वन एंड वी आलो हेव सर्टन ग्रूप आफ इनसेक्ट लाइक लेपिडोपर कोलियोपर आर् मेन इन दि कॉलम वन आ दि कॉलम टू कंट्रोल कॉर्न बोरर कंट्रोल बॉल वर्म्स एंड बीटल टोबैको बड वर्म आर्मी वर्म आर् देर सो वे वी हेव मैचिंग यू नो दट क्रै वन ए सी कंट्रोल बॉल वर्म्स कंट्रोल बॉल वर्म्स सो दिस इज देई वन ए बी कंट्रोल कॉर्न बोरर ओके देपिडोपर दट इनक्लूड टोबैको बड वर्म एंड आर्मी वर्म लेपिडोपर दिस आर् दि ग्रूप आफ् इनसेक्ट दट इनक्लूड टोबैको बड वर्म एंड आर्मी वर्म ओके जस्ट वेट एंड कोलियोपर दट इनक्लूड बीटल ओके कोलियोपर इनक्लूड बीटल सो दिस इज दि करेक्ट मैचिंग ऑफ दि कंटेंट देर इन दि कॉलम वन एंड कंटेंट देर इन दि कॉलम टू ओके दि करेक्ट आंसर इज ए क्यू बी पी सी एस डी आर ओके वी कैन गो थ्रू बैक्लाइड सो ऑप्शन वन ए क्यू बी पी एस डी आर सो दिस इज दि करेक्ट ऑप्शन ओके देन वी मूव ऑन टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच स्टेटमेंट इज इन करेक्ट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू आर एन ए इंटरफेर यू नो अनदर मेकानिजम दट इज यूज टू कंट्रोल दि पेस्ट इन सम प्लांट वी कॉल इट एस आर एन ए इंटरफेर मेकानिज आलो कॉल जी सैलेंसिंग मेकानिजम ओके दिस इन दिस मेकानिज वी कैन इंट्रोड्यूस सर्टाइन वैरस Uh, viral rna or transposons into the host plants in the host plants they make double stranded rna and this double stranded rna binds with the mrna and prevents translation so this is the entire mechanisms in a brief that is there in your ncert that you have to know okay rna interference mechanisms one examples to control the pest in plant is melodogyne incognitia melodogyne incognitia is a nematode parasite that affects the roots of tobacco plants and causes heavy destruction to control this melodogyne incognitia we follow this rna interference mechanisms in the rna interference mechanism it is a method of cellular defense found in all eukaryotes that is used to control the pests see first option rna interference takes place in all eukaryotic organisms as a method of cellular defense that is correct okay there is no mistake in that sentence second one in rna silencing of a specific mrna due to a complementary double stranded rna molecule occurs so in rna interferencing mechanism gene silencing mechanisms specific mrna due to a complementary double stranded rna occurs then double stranded rna molecules binds and prevents transcription of mrna this is wrong so here what mechanism has stopped is translation not transcription okay so double stranded rna that is formed in the host will bind to the mrna and prevent translation not transcription so the incorrect statement is option 3 okay the source of complementary rna could be from an infection by rna virus or it may be from transposons what are transposons it's the mobile genetic elements one chromosome in the inondu chromosome ge small part of the chromosome that we call it as a gene may move that we call it as transposons adanna use maadkondu athwa rna from virus use maadkondu host ge now introduce maadidre host alli double stranded sense strand and anti sense strand anta create agutte mrna 
that will bind to form double stranded rna that bind the mrna prevent translation so these are the steps that is involved in rna interference okay next question so actually the rna interference is a complex mechanism but simple in a simplistic way it was explained in your ncrt book that you have to note down only okay next arrange sequentially one after the other steps one after the other steps rna i steps rna interference mechanisms in the production of transgenic tobacco against a nematode so we have isolation of nematode specific gene nematode ke karana adake introduce maduvanta specific gene na introduce madbeku isolation madbeku introduction of a nematode specific gene into agrobacterium second step silencing the specific mrna formation of double stranded rna production of sense and anti sense rna in the host and initiation of rna i so these are the steps are there look the various options and rearrange okay so first one is the isolation of nematode specific gene idu modlagbeko okay isolation of nematode specific gene then introduction of nematode specific gene into agrobacterium so you know that agrobacterium has a plasmid to which the specific gene has to be introduced then when this agrobacterium containing nematode specific gene introduced into the uh, host plant it will create it will create a uh, sense and anti sense strand in the host host body alli sense matte anti sense strand create agutte when we introduce nematode specific genes into the host body so therefore this is the third. okay then this sense and anti sense strand helps in the formation of double strand because they are complementary sense strand alli iru nucleotide base pairs so anti sense strand alli iru nucleotide base pairs so what agi because due to complementary base pairing they form a double stranded rna enagutte double stranded rna agutte okay option 6 uh, 4 uh, adnare ne okay fifth adnale fourth okay then we have silencing the specific mrna this is the next step mrna becomes silenced mrna does not translate into the proteins then initiation of rna i okay so these are the steps so like a second first option we will see this is the fourth option okay in this way the rna i mechanism works okay next mobile genetic elements are called you know mobile genetic elements the gene switch over from a chromosome to chromosome one the chromosome in the in the chromosome ke gene move over the we call it as transposons okay you know interferon is an antiviral agent that you have studied in the human health and disease chapters anti uh, interferons okay cytokine specific class of proteins that halt the viral multiplication at a second line of defense in the body okay introns and exons these are the words that we come across in molecular basis of inheritance so in a split gene for example eukaryotic genes are split genes where we have expressible regions that is coding sequences that codes for amino acids that we call it as exons non-coding sequences we call it as introns so when six exons plus introns together present we call it split genes so correct answer is transposons next the roots of the tobacco plants are infected by melodogyne incognitia is bacterium fungi nematode flatworm you know melodogyne incognitia is a nematode you know nematode is a round worm one of the important future of the nematode you have studied in the first year is it is a pseudo silomate animal nematode is a pseudo silomate animal its uh, sexual dimorphism is very clear it is dioecious okay and males are smaller than females all you have studied very very important okay so it is a nematode it's a nematode okay that infects the roots of 
tobacco plants and causes stress structure. Next, identify A, B, C, D in the maturation of insulin. Now, when we talk about the production of insulin by RDNA technology, a different techniques are involved. Okay? The Illy Lilly company first isolated two genes from the human pancreas. The gene A responsible for producing A chain, the gene B responsible for producing B chain, and these two chains were linked by disulfide cross bridges later. And finally, they prepared human insulin, they named as humulin. Okay? And this insulin, you know, is used to uh, give patients who are suffering from diabetes mellitus. Earlier, the diabetes patients were given by the insulin obtained from cows and pigs. But that insulin obtained from cows and pigs in the composition of amino acid is slightly different and it causes various immunological responses in human being and causes allergy, etc. To overcome this problem, a human humulin that is insulin obtained from human cell itself was done by Illy Lilly company in America and they created insulin, human insulin by joining two polypeptide chains, one a chain produced from uh, one, uh, one vector and uh, host and B chain is produced from another host. Finally, they are joined by creating disulfide bonds. Now here, A, a first option, A, pro-insulin, okay, B, processing, C, insulin and D, C, peptide is there. A, insulin, B, processing, C, pro-insulin, D, C, peptide is there. In the option 3, C, A, C peptide, B, processing, C, pro-insulin and D, insulin is there. And in the fourth option, we have pro-insulin, A, B, processing, C, C peptide and D, insulin is there. See here, in this concept, A is the pro-insulin, okay, A is the pro-insulin, B is the processing, during this processing, the C peptide is removed. Long C peptide is removed. Okay? C peptide is removed. Okay? Then D is finally insulin. So the correct answer is A pro-insulin, B processing, okay? then C peptide D that is mature insulin. So that is the correct answer for this question. Sorry, one uh, option one also, okay, pro-insulin processing, no, it is not that, I have wrongly mentioned, it is fourth option, fourth option, okay. Then, we move on to next question. Some of the steps involved in the production of humulin are given below, choose the correct sequence, okay. First, synthesis of gene for human insulin artificially, okay, that's the first option. Then second, culturing recombinants E. coli into bioreactors. Then insertion of human insulin gene into plasmid. Then introduction of recombinant plasmid into Estrisia coli. Extraction of recombinant gene product from Estrisia coli. So these are the various steps that are mentioned here. And we have one, two, three, four options are there. See, in this synthesis of gene, for human insulin artificially. That's also sounds good when we create insulin. Then culturing recombinant is the next step. Insertion of human insulin gene into plasmid is the next step. Introduction of recombinant plasmid into E. coli next step. Okay. Then culturing of recombinant E. coli into bioreactors and extraction of recombinant gene product from Estrisia coli. So that is the step. So the correct answer is option 1. So insulin for two chains A and B and separately inserted into the 2 PBR322 plasmid vector. These genes are inserted by the side of beta galactosidase gene of the plasmid. Okay. Then recombinant plasmids were then separately transformed into Estrisia coli that is host. Then recombinant host produced pro-insulin chains that is fused beta-galactosidase along with A and B chains, okay. 
These pro-insulin chains A and B were separated from beta galactosidase by the treatment with cyanogen bromide. But we have to uh, here we have to remove beta galactosidase from the A and B chains. Then after detachment, A and B chains are joined in vitro, reconstitute the navy insulin and new insulin by sulfonating the peptide chains with sodium disulfonate and sodium sulfate. So these are all not uh, there, but uh, the steps are very, very important, sequential steps. Okay. So this is a diagrammatic representation how insulin is synthesized by using uh, Estrichia coli as a host. A chain is separately synthesized, B chain is separately synthesized and finally this A chain joined with B chain by disulfide bridges, cross bridges to form a mature insulin. So during this process, the C peptide is removed. Okay. So that step followed by the Illy Lily company and they named as humulin. Okay. Next, what is the C peptide of human insulin? Option C. A part of a mature insulin molecule, mature insulin in a part, responsible for the formation of disulfide bridges. Third, removed during the maturation of pro-insulin to insulin and responsible for its biological activity. When we consider these four options, you know, like option and now consider you know that C peptide is removed during maturation of pro-insulin into Insulin, that is the correct answer. Maturation of the C peptide remove the A chain, B chain, disulfide cross linking in the join, mature insulin forms. So, option third is the correct answer. See here, this is the diagrammatic representation how pro insulin gets mature into insulin by removing C chain, C mid chain. Okay. Then, the first clinical gene therapy was given in 1919 to a four-year-old girl with, you know, one of the main promising area with regard to biotechnology is in health. When we consider the health, diagnostics, therapeutics are very, very important. When it comes to therapeutics, in the future, we may have a gene therapy. By considering gene therapy, possible in the future, Munde Adu, gene therapy, Barbahudu ano, possible idea it kondaga. First, they started uh, in 1990 to a four year old girl with the uh, ADA deficiency. Now, what is ADA deficiency? Adenosine deaminase, that is the enzyme required for the synthesis of T lymphocytes. You know, T lymphocytes are very, very essential for immunity. For a person, if T lymphocytes are very less, we say they are immunosuppressant, okay, susceptible to infectious disease. Sometimes due to deletion of a particular gene that synthesizes ADA enzyme, ADA enzyme mod one gene, deletion nagir bodu, chromosomally deletion nag bodu. Antha time alli, e ADA enzyme, adenosine deaminase enzyme not synthesized. You know ADA enzyme, adenosine deaminase enzyme is crucial for the synthesis of T lymphocytes. Okay. Such persons who are lacking ADA enzyme, we call it as severe combined immunodeficiency disease, SCID. They are suffering from SCID. Okay. The first, in 1990, a gene therapy was tried to a four-year-old girl who was suffering from ADA deficiency. So that is the correct answer. Cystic fibrosis, you know, uh, was also tried. Muscular dystrophy, thalassemia uh, are the other diseases. But here, ADA deficiency is the correct answer. Next, which is a permanent cure in treating ADA deficiency? Okay. Related to the same question. ADA deficiency can be cured by several ways. 
One is bone marrow transplantation. Okay, bone marrow transplantation. Second one is enzyme replacement therapy. Because the patients suffering from ADA deficiency have do not have that enzyme, ADA enzymes. So that has been uh, given, enzyme is given to the patient suffering from ADA deficiency. That is the second option. Periodic infusion of genetically engineered lymphocytes. So lymphocytes taken from the patient and cDNA introduced into the B lymphocytes and that produces ADA. That is the third option. Okay. Then introduction of ADA producing gene isolate from bone marrow cells into early embryonic cells. So among these four options, the bone marrow transplantation enzyme therapy work does not work well. Okay, it is temporary. Whereas periodic infusion of genetically injured lymphocytes, these genetically lympho uh, engineered lymphocytes are mortal. So it does not uh, considered as a permanent cure. On the other hand, introduction of the gene that produces ADA into early embryos, zygote or early embryos, will permanently cure that disease. So option 4 is the correct answer. This is the very very good question that is uh, which among these is the permanent cure in treating ADA deficiency. So introduction of ADA producing gene isolate from bone marrow cells into early embryonic cells is the permanent cure. Okay. Then we move on to next question. There are two statements here. Okay. Statement A. Using serum and urine analysis, early de detection of disease is not possible. You know, for effective treatment, early diagnosis is very, very important. Okay. Early diagnosis is very important for the effective treatment. So, using serum and urine, urine analysis, early diagnosis of disease is not possible. It is exactly right. Okay. Because... These are the conventional or the traditional analysis. Traditional analysis or diagnostic technique by using serum or the urine. Okay. Statement B. Recombinant DNA technology, PCR and ELISA. ELISA means enzyme linked immunosorbent assay. PCR and RDNA technologies serve the purpose of early diagnosis. Okay. So here, second statement is also correct. Second statement is also correct. First statement is correct. Second statement is also correct. So look at the options. Statement A is correct, but statement B is wrong. Statement B is correct, but statement A is wrong. Both A and B statements are correct. Both A and B statements are wrong. So illi, uh, statement B is the correct reason for statement A and the Kerala. Okay. So hagagi, here both A and B statements are correct. And you also know, these are the two statements, just statements, right statements. Second statement does not give the correct answer for the statement. So if in the examination, if it is asked, both statement A and B are correct and, and B is not the reason for A also. So statement B is not the reason for statement A. But both are, both the statements are correct. Okay. Then we move on to next question. See, a single stranded DNA or RNA tagged with a radioactive molecule okay, is allowed to hybridize to its complementary DNA and a clone of cells is detected by. Now this is, we call it as probes. A single stranded DNA or RNA tagged with a radioactive molecule allowed to hybridize, we call it as probes. Single strand, stranded DNA and RNA now use more tivala, the probe and the karitiwe. Other than a hega detect more tivi, that is a procedure we call it as autoradiography. So in autoradiography, we use the X-rays, you know that that detect the that detect the hmm, clone of cells uh, is autoradiography. Okay. Then so this is the procedure of autoradiography. Okay. 
auto radiography procedure then we move on to next question alpha antitrypsin is a human protein used to treat see biotechnology is used to produce mass products mass production of several biological products for example tissue plasminogen activator also known as streptokinase okay similarly we have uh, antitrypsin that is used to treat limb emphysema human growth hormone okay in that way several uh, biologically important products are produced in large quantity by using fermenters one such biological product here is mentioned in your book that is alpha antitrypsin it is a human protein used to treat this emphysema okay it is used to treat emphysema you know emphysema is a lung disorder where the alveoli cells alveoli of lungs are undergo degradation their alveolar surface gets reduced for exchange of gases and such disease usually common in cigarette smokers so that is called as emphysema okay to treat such disease we require alpha antitrypsin that is obtained from biotechnology so the answer is 2 okay emphysema is a lung disorder we see here where alveoli are got destroyed due to cigarette smoking and uh, exposure to pollutions so they require that antitrypsin that is given to the patients to overcome this disease that is prepared by uh, using biotechnological methods or dna technology methods okay next which of the following technique is used for early detection of aids you know aids acquired immunodeficiency syndrome caused by hiv human immunodeficiency virus and that even a single virus in the body can be detected by using antigen antibody based antigen antibody based detection test called enzyme linked immunosorbent assay so that is the correct options okay you know why all test is used in confirming the typhoid salmonella typhi pcr polymerase chain reaction is the uh, technique used to amplify the gene if it is in small southern blotting is the procedure where dna fragments from the gel is transferred to nylon membrane that method is called southern blotting don't think southern is a south it is it's a scientist who invented this procedure blotting uh, where dna fragments from the gel is transferred to nylon membrane uh, gel in the nylon membrane get transfer madlike we use this technique called southern blotting okay so the correct option is elisa option 2 so this is the procedure of elisa enzyme linked immunosorbent assay okay then which technique is used to find the infection caused by disease producing microorganisms based on antigen antibody reinteraction so we have discussed early question for that we have answer elisa for this also we have elisa it is based on antigen antibody reaction so that is the option second elisa then see here there are two columns in the column one we have uh, alpha 1 antitrypsin rosy humulin cry on the column two gene that code for toxin genetic engineered hormone okay human protein transgenic cows are there so alpha antitrypsin is a human protein okay rosy is a transgenic cow know that transgenic cow was created that was named as rosy humulin that is genetically engineered hormone okay genetically engineered hormone to treat diabetes mellitus that was made by illy lily company then cry is the gene that codes for toxins okay so a r b s c q and d p fourth option is the correct one for this
then we move on to next step now geac see genetic manipulation is going on around uh, around the world various organisms they use they manipulate microbes they manipulate plants they manipulate animals hege manipulate maartta irbekadre idrinda there are several disadvantages biotechnology in the disadvantage ide hege advantage idiyo that we can use in agriculture that we can use in health that we can use in food processing like that uh, bio remediation waste treatment energy production for everything we use biotechnology but other face of the biotechnology is it has certain disadvantage okay biotechnological products sometimes harm the human health human health ge tondre irbodu it may harm the environment sometimes uh, uh, pest resistant plants can be generated super bug or uh, super weed like that it may harm the environment similarly it may harm the biodiversity okay so it may harm the biodiversity harm the environment harm the human health then also associated with these biotechnological products there is another problem we called patent problem that we are facing to regulate and monitor all these activities to regulate and monitor all these activities every government has set up a organization regulating committee monitoring committee in india there is a regulating committee called genetic engineering approval committee that is the uh, expanded form of a abbreviation geac what is geac genetic engineering okay approval committee without approval any such biotechnology in biotechnologically invented products could not be released okay for public purposes for public or whatever it may be either in private labs or in public labs without permission from this geac it could not be circulated so that is the geac okay genetic engineering approval committee it is the functioning under the ministry of environment and forest to examine and issue the clearance from the view point of environmental safety okay on a case by case basis okay activities involving large scale use of hazardous microorganisms and recombinants in research and industrial production from environmental angle yav the lab alli now microbes anna alter maadi upayogistha irtivi virus athwa bacteria adu escape aagbardu adanna we have to regulate so for that we have gesc proposals relating to the release of genetically engineered organisms and products into the environment including experimental field trials so these are all the activities that governed by the gesc under the ministry of environment and forests okay next question use of bio resources by multinational companies and other organizations without proper authorization from the countries and people concerned without compensatory payment is called you know this is very very uh, hot topic today that we call it as bio piracy okay bio piracy kallatana anta andre yavde biotechnological products the plant agirbodu animal agirbodu ಹೆಚ್ಚಾಗಿ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಇರೋದು ಡೆವಲಪಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನಲ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನಲ್ ದಿ ಡೆವಲಪಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ವೆರ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ದಿ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಡ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಮೇಕ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಬಯೋ ಪೇಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಓಕೆ ದಿ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಬಯೋ ಪೈರಸಿ ಬಯೋ ಪೈರಸಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ it is the use of bio resources by multinational companies mncs and other organizations without proper authorization from the countries and people concerned without giving adequate compensation that we called bio piracy okay that is a problem associated with the biotechnology also you know the 
ट्रांसजेनिक एनिमल्स आर क्रिएटेड फॉर वेरियस पर्पसेस वट आर ट्रांसजेनिक एनिमल्स जेनेटिकली मॉडिफाइड एनिमल्स कंटेनिंग फॉर इंजीन फॉर इंजीन और फॉर इंजीन दैट वी कॉल इट एज ट्रांसजेनिक एनिमल्स जेनेटिकली मॉडिफाइड एनिमल्स कंटेनिंग फॉर इंजीन डिजायर्ड जीन सो दैट वी कॉल इट एज ट्रांसजेनिक एनिमल्स ट्रांसजेनिक एनिमल्स वेर क्रिएटेड टू नो द physiological mechanism that takes place in the organisms study of physiological functions to study how disease development occurs another area where transgenic uh, animals are used and third one is to produce various biotechnological products in large scales transgenic animals are used for example we have come across one or two such examples alpha antitrypsin produced by transgenic animals to treat that we used to treat emphysema similarly certain products like uh, tissue plasminogen activator clot buster is produced from transgenic animals that are used to treat the patients who are undergone myocardial infarction okay in this way transgenic animals are used similarly for vaccine safety vaccine safety toxicity test of the chemicals for all these transgenic animals are produced okay we have already created mice um, cattle like rossi transgenic uh, rossi similarly transgenic uh, cattle similarly we have transgenic sheep transgenic rabbits transgenic pigs like that but majority of the transgenic animals that were created 95% of all the existing transgenic animals are transgenic mice okay transgenic mice okay then we move on to next question the site of production of ada in the body is see the adenosine d aminase enzyme that is produced in the in the bone marrow so that is sorry the ada in the body is erythrocytes erythrocytes means rbc okay they are the region in which they are produced or lymphocytes okay then which of the following is not a benefit of transgenic animals one investigation of new treatment of disease early detection of diseases testing the safety of vaccine to produce useful biological products so which of the following is not a benefit of transgenic animals investigation of new treatment of disease okay early detection of disease testing the safety of vaccine to produce useful biological products so early detection of disease is not possible by using transgenic animals so the correct option is fourth okay two so sorry uh, we go back into that so our invest investigation of new treatment of disease so this is the correct answer so i make it uh, as correct one then we move on to next question rules of conduct of the conduct that may be used to regulate our activities in relation to the biological world is called so certain rules are uh, you know that associated with human being that uh, we call it as morality okay that morality is very very important and that is always concerned with bioethics bioethics is very very important because we cannot modify indiscriminately the organisms as our uh, will namma ichchayante now continue modeling agodilla organisms na modify modeling agodilla we have a bioethics that we have to follow so this is the correct answer then what is the advantage in clinical use of humulin humulin you know human insulin obtained through our dna technology over the use of conventional ox or pig insulin see it does not cause immunological problems it is a cheaper for the patient there is no advantage it is a product produced by estrichia coli in our own intestine so the answer is it does not cause any immunological problems because the insulin we are using in this context is same human insulin itself it does not cause any re reactions in the body okay next the proteins encoded by the genes cri1ac and cri 
second a b control you know cry 1 ac cry second a b control cotton ball worms that is the correct answer they cry 1 ab controls corn borer cry 1 ab controls corn borer cry 1 ac and cry second ab controls cotton ball worm most common pest of a cotton and other related crops okay that has to be controlled by this gene cry 1 ac and cry second ab then what has genetic engineering been successful user for producing transgenic mice for testing the safety of polio vaccine before use in humans that is the first option transgenic models for studying new treatments for certain cardiac diseases transgenic cow rosy which produces high fat milk for making ghee animal like bulls for farm work as they have a super power so here correct option is transgenic mice for testing the safety of polio vaccine before use in humans now transgenic cow rosy is also used but produces a human protein alpha lactalbumin not the fat milk making ghee so the correct answer is this first option then which of the following technique is used for detecting covid 19 virus idu general question may be asked like this type of questions general questions urine analysis no not pcr elisa serum analysis you know serum analysis urine analysis are conventional method of detection elisa is based on antibody antigen reaction but quick detection of covid 19 was possible by by using the technique called polymerase chain reaction so option 2 polymerase chain reaction powerful tool in detecting the virus that is present entered in the body okay polymerase chain reaction crops having cry gene needs no insecticide small amount of insecticide large amount of insecticide none of this above so crops having cry genes you know cry genes produces cry proteins they kill the uh, pests so therefore there is no insecticide use then the green revolution succeeded in increasing the yield of crops mainly due to use of see improved varieties of the crop okay now crops anna improved variety alli use madadaga adu production jaasti aitu during 1960 to 2000 uh, regions alli that phase of the agriculture we call it as green revolution use of agrochemicals agrochemicals anna extensive agi use madadnu adu kuda karana aitu green revolution ge better management practices idu kuda karana aitu okay all of these 1 hmm? 2 and 3 all of these are the uh, causes for green revolution okay then fill the blanks here using agrobacterium vectors here a specific genes are introduced into the host plant okay using agrobacterium genes we have fungal illi nematode we have insect we have virus so it is nematode nematode specific gene anna ellige introduce martive host plant tobacco plant ge introduce martive hmm. rna interference takes place in all eukaryotic organism as a method of idu ella eukaryotic organisms alli iruvanta mechanism cellular defense okay cellular defense cellular defense that is found in all eukaryotic organisms next gene c and d controls cotton ball worms so this will lead into confusion when you are in the examination idanna sariya maadkoli sari ga artha maadkoli cotton ball worms anna control maaduvantaddu cry okay cry 1 ac inandu cry second ab cry 1 ab controls 
corn borer so alige ilige cry 1 ac and cry second ab then fifth e has been introduced in bt corn to protect the same from corn borer that is cry 1 ab cry 1 ab okay this is so alige option that is second option okay then technique used to detect the dna in a clone is called so in a clone of cells certain cells are detected dna dna is detected in a clone of cells so gel electrophoresis it's not used for detection polymerase chain reaction okay then gene therapy it is not used auto radiography and polymerase chain reaction so dna is detected by method called auto radiography so this is not correct answer is auto radiography it uses the x rays to detect the dna okay then which step has been taken by government of india to cater the requirements of patent terms and other emergency provisions in this regards now with regard to india indian parliament enacted a bill called indian patent bill okay so that is the correct answer indian patent bill you know uh, for a right right means every new invention has associated with a right that right may be in the form of a copyright right may be in the form of a trademark right may be in the form of a patent right may be in the form of a trade secret so with regard to biological systems organisms ke sambandha patta hage right anna hakku anna nam yavudu anta karitivi patent anta karitivi adakke sambandha patta hage indian parliament ondu bill anna introduce madutte that we call it as indian patent bill so for the hmm, provisions for with regard to various aspects regarding to patent okay indian patent bill then transgenic animals are produced by incorporation of foreign gene into the nucleus of a fertilized egg nucleus of a sperm nucleus of a unfertilized egg and egg cell okay here transgenic transgenic animals are produced by c it is the nucleus of a fertilized egg okay fertilized egg we call it as zygote zygote is a single celled structure that undergo uh, multiplication cleavage to form embryo and then embryo becomes adult once you incorporate the desired gene into the fertilized egg all the uh, cells derived from the fertilized egg have foreign gene so that is the basis okay the following are all genes except so it is a gene okay cry 1 ac is a gene cry 1st ab is a gene rop that uh, that codes for the origin of replication is also a gene but pst1 is not a gene so pst providentia stewarti 1 is a restriction endonuclease it is not a gene so it is a gene it is a gene it is a gene okay then select the wrong statement okay elisa is based on the principle of antigen antibody interaction that is correct okay very low concentration of virus or bacteria can be detected by pcr that is also correct pcr is used to detect the low concentration of the virus or bacteria even single bacteria or virus present in the body can be detected by pcr because it amplifies early detection of disease by serum and urine analysis is not possible that is also right so serum and urine analysis is not a good uh, detection technique for effective treatment of the disease medicines required to treat disease like emphysema are least expensive to make so here this word is false so medicines required to treat disease like emphysema 
not least expensive. It is highly expensive to make. So that you have to make. So that is the wrong statement. So this is the wrong statement. Okay. Then we have assertion and reason. Okay. PCR is now routinely used to detect HIV in suspected AIDS patient. It is routinely commonly used. Okay. PCR is now routinely used to detect HIV in suspected agents along with you know ELISA is also used that is based on antigen antibody reaction PCR uh, is also used. Now very low concentration of virus can be detected by the amplification of the nucleic acid by PCR so that is the reason okay this is correct this is also correct and this is the correct explanation for this therefore both assertion and reason are correct and the reason is the correct explanation statement for assertion also so this is the correct option so both assertion and reason are correct and the reason is the correct statement for assertion okay the first transgenic crop plant was you know first transgenic crop plant was tobacco okay it is not cotton it is tobacco first transgenic crop plant was tobacco okay so it is not cotton it is tobacco tobacco first transgenic plant okay that is not there in your syllabus forget about that then how many recombinant therapies have been approved for human use all over the world so all over the world already we have 30 recombinant products in india we have about 12 such products are marketed all over the world we have 30 recombinant products and in india we have 12 such products biotechnologically important products okay the main challenge for the production of insulin using rdna technique is main challenge that faced by illilili company Production of A peptide, production of B peptide, getting insulin assembled into a mature form, production of C peptide. So the main challenge for the production of insulin using RDA technique is getting insulin assembled into a mature form. Okay, so that is the correct option. Getting assembled into a mature form by cross bridging, cross linking of the uh, A and B chains. Okay, some of the steps involved in the production of humulin are given below. Choose the correct sequence. Purification of humulin, extraction of recombinant gene product from Estricia coli, culturing recombinant Estricia coli in bioreactors, introduction of recombinant plasmids into Estricia coli, synthesis of gene for human insulin artificially, insertion of human insulin gene into plasmid. So these are the, some of the steps are given we have to arrange sequentially one after the other okay see here the first step is synthesis of human gene human insulin gene artificially gene for human insulin it is not human insulin it is gene for human insulin artificially next step insertion of human insulin gene into plasmid okay then Introduction of recombinant plasmid into Estricia coli. Okay. Then culturing recombinant Estricia coli into bioreactors. Then we have extraction of recombinant gene product from Estricia coli. Then purification of human insulin. So these are the sequential steps that we follow while producing human insulin through RDNA technology. Okay. So option C, then a functional ADA, CDA, CDNA, what is CDNA? CDNA is called complementary DNA, you know this is very very important concept. CDNA means complementary DNA that is produced from mRNA by a process called reverse transcription. Reverse transcription mukantra mRNA in the DNA prepare maadu a vidana vanna nao CDNA anthe karitthi Idu AK andre Kelausala nao uh, Eukaryotic gene anna prokaryotic age insert maadu bhe kadre Insert maadu dhe It does not work For example 
prokaryotic gene uh, uh, sorry eukaryotic gene uh, that produces insulin has split genes is split gene anna now prokaryotic ge introduce madidre prokaryote does not know how to process splicing mechanism ad gotilla splicing you know that splicing and splicing removal of introns and the joining of exons to form a uh, functional mrna that process did not know by the do not know by the prokaryote so in that context a sandarbhadalli now en martivi andre we use cdna cdna is nothing but complementary dna obtained from mrna by reverse transcription idike reverse transcriptase enzyme na use madadaga mrna in the dna synthesis agutte that dna is called cdna so can be introduced into the cells of the patients receiving gene therapy by using vector constituted by so it is retrovirus for anything that is delivered that is uh, gene that has to be delivered into the animals we use disarmed retrovirus okay disarmed retrovirus so therefore we use retrovirus then there are assertion and reason question once again bt toxin do not kills bacillus so it is exactly right bt toxin do not kill back uh, bacillus bacillus bacteria bt toxin protein exist in bacillus as a inactive pro inactive protoxins that is also right so both statement are right and the reason is the correct explanation for assertion also okay therefore both assertion and reasons are correct and the reason is the correct statement for the assertion explanation for the assertion then once again same assertion and reason question ada deficiency can be cured by bone marrow transplantation okay ada deficiency is genetic diseases to some extent ada uh, deficiency can be cured by bone marrow transplantation and ada deficiency is a genetic disease that's also correct both are correct but uh, both statements are correct but the second is not the correct explanation of the first statement okay then some of the steps involved in rna i are given find the correct sequential steps from the option okay i think it is this question is repeated introduction of nematode specific gene into the host through vector okay then alli sölpa jumble agide idralli aa question ginta bin vagide idu then formation of double stranded rna production of sense and anti sense rna strand initiation of rna and prevention of translation so once we introduce the nematode specific gene into the host then it forms sense and anti sense strand in the host sense strand you know is called as other name of the sense strand is coding strand because the nitrogen based sequence in the sense strand or coding strand is same as that of rna that is synthesized anti sense strand on the other hand is called complementary strand complementary strand is called anti sense strand so production of sense and anti sense rna strand takes place that is the second step then these two combine because complementary base pairing occurs and formation of double stranded rna occurs then initiation of rna and prevention of translation translation of prevent agit. so this first third second and fourth so option fourth is correct okay that is the correct answer for this question okay using agrobacterium vectors nematode specific genes were introduced into the host plant that is the first step okay introduction of dna was such that produced both sense and anti sense rna in the host cells then these two rnas being complementary to each other formed a double stranded rna ds rna that initiated rna and thus silenced the specific mrna the consequence was that parasite could not survive in a transgenic host expressing specific interfering rna okay uh, we have completed some questions students my earnest request uh, we have some times for cet and neat please prepare thoroughly and you have a good luck 
and uh, best of luck okay thank you thank you to one and all